Today's tutorial is changing the power supply in a Dell Optiplex GX520 small form factor. This is also the same as doing a Optiplex GX620. I'm not using any anti-static precautions for the ease of filming. Before we start we need to release the lid by pulling the little handle back and lifting the lid off. Locate the power supply which is here. Several items are in the way. Firstly the hard disk drive and caddy. We do this by removing the cable holder not always there on some computers pull the SATA power lead from the behind the hard drive and also the SATA data cable push the two little blue plastic clips together and lift the drive out and put that down somewhere carefully then pull the data cable from the CD drive from the motherboard like so and remove the CD drive this is done by lifting the blue marked metal clip up and CD drive out again put that somewhere careful we now take off the remaining connectors the 24 pin ATX connector that goes to the motherboard there is a little clip on the side that you push in and pull up and same for the P4 connector little clip at the side push in and pull up we then come to the rear of the computer where there are three screws it doesn't matter what order you do them in put the screws somewhere where you'll find them. The power supply will now slide out. Sometimes I have to wiggle it about because it's held on the bottom of the base from there to there. Put the old power supply away and then take your replacement power supply. Fitting is the reversal of removing. Ensure it fits over the little lug and slips back in place. Try and lift it up just to check it's gone over there, which it has. Then put in the three screws. Again, doesn't matter what order. Now connect the power cables back up. First of all, the 24 pin ATX, just place it in and make sure it's in place and it can't be pulled out. Then the four pin power, again, push it in, make sure it's clipped in firmly. Next thing, we have to replace the CD drive. Exactly the same as taking it out. Clips in and locks home. Then the cable. Ensure you have it round the right way. These two little lugs here are the closest to the power supply. Push it home and check it secure. Then we replace the hard drive. Hold the cables up and grab the hard drive. It slits into the back of the chassis on the computer then, two little locating lugs at the front near the blue clips ensure it's in the right position. Push it home until you hear it click. Replace the SATA power connector and the SATA data lead. Then, if you have the little connector, wire connector on the side, connect also that back up. 
the power supply has now been changed, then just leaves the lid to go back on.